In this uh, video, I'll show you how to add tooltips to images, as well as how to uh, add alternate text to an image. So let's go ahead and start by entering an image. Uh, this is um, this is my page, and uh, I have an image here. Number one the requirement is for our images to come from the same directory as our pages. That's going to be very important when you go to publishing. So make sure you have all your files in a single folder. I select the image I would like to uh, insert. I'll say OK to that. And so uh, there are two boxes here that I need to populate in order to enter the uh, insert the image. The first one is alternate text. Alternate text is used by um, people with disabilities. So they will have screen readers that help them to see virtually what's on the screen. So here I would put maybe uh, cable with uh, strands of fiber. And the tooltip can be exactly the same. Okay, the tooltip actually appears on the browser when you mouse over a picture. Some browsers actually don't support this at all, and some do. So tooltip is not uh, as, as, uh, as, as important here, but we are required to have both of them. With this in place, I'll say OK, and now I have my image. Now, as you look at this image here, you cannot tell whether the alternate text is completed, whether the tooltip is completed. So uh, what you have to do is have to go to image properties or to the code to actually see this happen. In the code itself, uh, under an image, uh, this is the part where alternate text was inserted, and this is uh, the tooltip. So to add a caption to an image, you simply are going to put text under the image itself. So we can put here um, fiber optic cable with strands of fiber. Okay, so this is a caption, uh, whereas before we put in the alternate text, we put in the tooltip, and now we have a caption to the picture.